Alrighty, so I have a Carowinds construction update for you guys. You guys have been asking for quite some time now and I haven't been able to do it mainly because the Carowinds cameras are dirty and I can't do um, construction updates based off of really blurry footage. So I apologize guys, um, but it looks like uh, the, uh, the flyers here are moving along nicely. Nothing really new from what I saw at the end. Um, you guys can correct me down below if I'm wrong in any aspect. Again, when I'm commenting on a park that's not mine, I'm probably gonna make a mistake. But it looks like not much has been uh, going on other than aesthetics. But wow, what is going on at uh, Copperhead Strike is absolutely insane. The station is taking form. I mean, uh, you have the station taking form. You have supports going up like there's no tomorrow. Um, there's supports everywhere. It's absolutely insane. In fact, I've never seen so many supports not connected to track just sitting up there. So definitely a great use of time going on at Carowinds. Uh, supports going up everywhere. It looks like they got a lot of water main work left to do as well or electrical. Whatever they use that for. But lots of track work has been completed over at Carowinds. Um, so these videos were provided by Carowinds fans only. Huge thank you to them. Go check them out on Facebook. Um, definitely a uh, huge help uh, in terms of keeping me updated. Now, these next photos are provided by Dirk Diggler, 1992, on Instagram and uh, Twitter. Um, huge thank you to him. He got some really nice HD shots of Copperhead Strike, and he has more on his Instagram. Absolutely stunning photos this guy takes. Um, I just recently discovered him and I mean, I scrolled through this guy's Instagram account like there was no tomorrow because he takes such amazing photos. I just had to insert that because I actually um, really enjoyed his account. So you definitely have to go check him out. I'm going to link it in the video as well and down below. Um, but it's just track is everywhere. This photo is blessed because I mean, you look at it and it's just track entangled in track and I mean, you can even see the you can even see them installing a piece of track here with the crane connected to it. Uh, it's just absolutely amazing. I bet you this coaster is going to be done, you know, in the next 30 days as well. I'm guessing maybe even sooner. I'm not talking coaster. I'm talking about track work. Um, and uh, before Winterfest is over, you're probably going to have a really good idea of what this area is going to look like. Um, again, just some absolutely stunning shots from this guy. Got to go check him out. And uh, I'm loving all the tight turns in this. I know this coaster has a pretty low speed compared to other high thrill coasters, but again, you got to take into account the really tight turns, twists, and maneuvers that Copperhead Strike is going to do. Um, I also realized in the overhead shots that there's a lot of theming in the queue line. So the queue line starts up near where it looks like a cornfield is going to be located, and you pass through three to four barns on your way to the station. Um, and then you have the station building itself that look, is going to look absolutely stunning just based off of this picture alone. And then you have the, the show building before the launch, which is probably going to have some sort of snake and the granny catching you in her barn. You're going to run like it does in the teaser trailer. Um, but yeah, absolutely amazing shots. I can't believe how quickly Copperhead Strike is coming along. Um, absolutely look forward to seeing this thing completed probably within the next month, track work. And a lot of the buildings are probably going to be framework done as well so it's gonna be awesome to see that before Winterfest is done at carolyn's anyways hopefully you guys really enjoyed this construction update um again i will do construction updates on the specific attractions around north america and across the pond when big things are happening or i can get footage that actually i can make something out of anyways hopefully you guys enjoyed this give the video a like subscribe if you haven't and share this video for others to enjoy thanks so much for watching guys have a good one bye Alrighty, so just in time for the holidays, Amusement Insiders is launching its store. So after much trouble and struggle, we have finally moved our shop from the States to Canada um, and found a provider. So awesome. It's taken us a really long time to figure this out. Honestly, who knew running a YouTube channel would be so difficult? I honestly didn't. But we finally have our merch. So we have our calendar, which is super awesome, available for purchase for Christmas or the holidays. We have our photo album, which is actually really cool. Um, that was a last minute buy just because I saw it and I had to get it um, with all the photos in there. It looks super awesome. And then we have an Amusement Insiders shirt. Um, so hopefully you guys really enjoy it. We have our Amusement Insiders um, website up um, in soft launch and the shop is on there as well. Um, anyways, thanks so much guys for supporting Amusement Insiders and have a great one. Bye.